With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, the two wires one in the figure are made of the same material which has breaking stress of 8 into 10 raised power 8 Newton per meter square. The area of cross section of the upper wire is 0.06 cm square and the lower wire is 0.003 cm square. The mass M1 is 10 kg and the mass M2 is 20 kg. Okay. And the hanger is light. Find the maximum load that can be put on the hanger without breaking a wire. Which wire will break first if the load is increased? B. Repeat the above part when M1 is 10 kg and M2 is 36 kg. Okay. So we have been given the breaking stress of the wire as 8 into 10 less power 8 newton per meter square and the area of cross section of the upper wire let us suppose that this wire is the second wire and this wire is the first wire okay so the area of cross section for the second wire is given as 0.006 centimeter square and for the lower wire it is given as 0.003 centimeter square the mass m1 is given as 10 kg and the mass m2 is given as how much 20 kg correct now we have to calculate that the maximum weight that should be put on the hanger so that no wire should break so let us suppose the mass m is placed on the hanger okay so due to this mass and m1 a tension will created in the first wire correct so t1 will be equals to m1 plus m into g due to which the stress will develop in the first wire so let us calculate the stress in the first wire so it will be t1 upon the cross sectional area a1 T1 is M1 plus M into G upon cross sectional area A1. Correct. Now, so that the wire doesn't break, so equate the stress developed in the wire to the breaking stress. So, sigma B will be equals to M1 plus M into G upon A1. Correct. From here, we can calculate the value of M that is sigma B A1 divided by G minus M1. Now substituting the respective values, sigma b is given as 8 into 10 raised power 8 into area is given as 3 into 10 raised power minus 7 divided by g, let us take as 10 meter per second square, minus m1 is 10 kg, correct. Now from here we got the mass coming as 14 kg, okay. Now for the second wire, for the second wire, the tension will be due to the mass m1, m2 and m. So, the tension in the second wire will be equals to M1 plus M2 plus M into G. Correct. Due to which the stress will be developed in the second wire. So, let us calculate the stress in the second wire. Sigma 2 will be T2 upon area of 2. T2 is M1 plus M2 plus M upon A, A2. Correct. From here, we can calculate the value of M as Sigma B into a2 upon g minus m1 plus m2 correct is equals to m now substituting the respective values what we will get is sigma v is 10 into 10 raised power 8 into a2 is 6 into 10 raised power minus 7 meter square divided by g is 10 meter per second square minus m1 is 10 and m2 is 20 kg correct is equals to m from here what we get is the value of m is equals to 18 kg okay now from here we can see that the wire 1 can sustain a mass of 14 kg and the wire 2 can sustain a mass of 18 kg correct so if we put the mass of 18 kg then wire 1 will get break so no wire should break so we can put the maximum mass of 14 kg okay therefore what we can say is the maximum mass maximum mass will be equals to how much 14 kg and if the load increases by 14 kg, then wire 1 will or the lower wire will break first. Okay. So, therefore, if the load is increased by 14 kg, then lower wire will break. Correct. Now in the second part what we have been asked is let the masses be m1 is equals to 10 kg and m2 is equals to 36 kg correct 
now as we can see from here that if m m2 is 36 kg then the tension in the first wire doesn't change correct so the calculation remains the same that it can sustain a mass of 14 kg but in the second wire the mass will uh, the ten, the stress in the second wire will change so let us calculate the stress for the second wire so it will be m1 plus m2 plus the mass in the hanger into g upon the cross sectional area of the second wire correct from here what we can say is sigma uh, let us cal equate this stress in the second wire to the breaking stress so that we can calculate the mass that can be put on the hanger okay so it will be sigma b m1 plus m2 plus m into g upon a2 from here we can calculate the value of m so m will be sigma b into a2 divided by g minus m1 plus m2 correct from here the sigma b is 8 into 10 raised power 8 area is 6 into 10 raised power minus 7 divided by g is 10 meter per second square minus m1 is 10 and m2 is 36 kg correct now from here we get mass is equals to 2 kg so when the second mass is 36 kg the maximum mass that can be put on the hanger is 2 kg okay so these are the required answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today